is Jasmine and Bear. We are going to do a little bit of walking today, a little bit of heel, and we are also going to try this little obstacle course that I've set up because I saw it over the weekend and thought he'd be great at that since he's supposed to be a herding dog. It's mainly what shepherds do. Um, I know he's really good with keeping up next to you when you're running. Anytime I'm out running in the yard with him, he's right by my side and wants to stick with me. So I thought it'd be cool to try that out with him, see how he does. Uh, first, we're just going to do a little bit of walking around, make sure he's doing what he's supposed to. So far, so good, but he does like to bolt as soon as we come out the door, thinking somebody's here for him. So, have to walk him around a little bit, get him comfortable, and then we'll test out the obstacle course. We're just going to walk around, see how he does. Come on. So he's pulling me quite a bit, wants to keep going out farther than what I'm letting him do. So to give him a little bit more incentive, I'm going to keep this in front of him, this little treat in my hand, and let him know that we're supposed to be right next to me. So I'm just going to pull him a little closer and try this. Got him a little closer to me, let him know that was good, good boy. Um, I'm just trying to keep him close to my body, so I'm just pulling the leash a little bit farther next to me. I usually hold it on my right and try and keep him on my left. Um, again, I'm just holding him at the top right here. If you get the collar right back by his ears, he's a little more sensitive back there. and He knows to keep up and uh, hold his head up and stay by you. So, versus um, letting him go far out in front of me and wander and pulling him back, he might think that it's just pull me faster. So I'm going to try and hold it up and let him know that I want him to stay calm, basically. It's a good way to keep him next to you and you got a good grip on him. I'm just being more firm with him versus letting him go out in front of me. So we're going to try this again, get it a little bit faster pace. Ready? I got them all energized. I'm going to work on heel. So we're just going to walk around in a circle and uh, I'm going to stop random spots and tell him to heel. Um, it's supposed to be without me telling him. It's supposed to be an automatic command where he just sits next to you when you stop. But uh, I'm not sure how far along he's gotten with that one. So we're going to test it out. So first time he did that, the second time I had to tell him to sit and heal. I know he's good. Oh boy. Um, when I have to tell him to sit, you also have to let him know heal, good heal. So he gets that programmed in his mind that when you stop, you're automatically supposed to sit and that's your heal. Ah, trying to hide now. Come on. Sit. 
McPherson. Good boy, good heel. Still not quite there yet. little bit of that. Um, still not quite stopping when I want him to. I have to keep reminding him to sit. So we're just gonna shove that one off a minute. I know he knows it. He just uh, so distracted right now. He's so hot and tired. I'm gonna get him a little bit more worked up and run him around the obstacle a second. Come on. So that one, he actually does really good. Oh man, he's so hot, he's trying to hide in the shade. He does pretty good with uh, walking next to you, running next to you. Um, I was trying to get him to do kind of like a herding thing, so just wanted to see how he did with that. And he actually stays a lot closer when he's in a closed off space. Um, I think when he's out in the open, he wants to see everything. So my advice would be to uh, walk around in a big area with him and keep them close to you on the normal leash that you have. And then um, just keep working up on that. You know, when he gets out to his surroundings and sees where he's able to go and what's going on, he's way more comfortable and relaxed and will stick next to you. He's doing a lot better with cum. So uh, we'll just have to work on the heel a little bit more. Excuse me. All right, buddy. So we're gonna try that again. You know, you're you're so tired. Come on. This way. This way. So, oh, way more relaxed right now <laughs> until he gets to the shade. Um, I think it's best with him to just keep telling him this way, this way. I uh, just the last lap we did, I was clicking with my fingers, snapping. And he responds really well to that. He stays next to you when you're doing that because that's right by your right by your thigh. Um, a lot of times you can be running and slap your leg too and he'll stay right next to you doing that. I'm gonna let him relax a second while I'm talking. Um, he, uh, he wants to check out all of his surroundings and I know it's really difficult when he's the size he is. You gotta just keep him next to you. The collar he has works pretty well. Um, it's mainly just stay next to you got to check out all the surroundings and everything and get comfortable so we're trying to do that a little bit more with him over here but I know in an open setting it's a lot more difficult especially meeting dogs so just keeping him next to you is the key thing and as long as you can walk comfortable with him it's not a huge dilemma I know we have to work on uh, meeting other dogs and that's another thing that we're trying to do with him I know he's a uh, very skittish sometimes he 
gets a little freaked out with anybody else comes by him, but any other dog comes in, he wants to check them all out. So we'll uh, work on that a little bit more with him. And he's pretty good with cums, so we just got to work on the walking and meeting new people and new dogs. But again, we'll work on that with him. So far, he's doing very well. But uh, we'll see you on the next one.